welcome to my new video today i am going to discuss about the second video of the pharmacokinetics series in previous video i already explained about the absorption of the drug today now distribution of the drug simply distribution means all the consequences of the delivery of the drug from systemic circulation to the tissue in simple language distribution means delivery of anything or delivery of the drug to the systemic circulation to the tissue to make it easy i am going to describe this diagram when we given drug in a body through any route for example if we give a blood in a systemic circulation this is a blood and uh, to explain the distribution we have to know the body fluid compartment it, blood blood inside the blood that is plasma is one compartment interest inter interstitial fluid is another compartment fat is another compartment interstitial fluid intercellular fluid is another compartment and other include cerebral spinal fluid peritoneum synovial fluid and fetus in case of the pregnancy if we give the blood sorry if if we give the drug in the blood then the drug is divided uh, drug is in we found the drug in two state this is free form of the drug and this is the bound form of the drug when the when the there is the bound, free form of the drug then it goes to the next compartment and there is a formation of the equilibrium equilibrium will maintain between free drug and bound drug in both this compartment blood compartment and interstitial fluid compartment this is called equilibrium constant from this compartment free drug will goes to next compartment from this compartment it will transport to this compartment this and finally to this and there will formation of the one equilibrium state in all compartment this is called equilibrium constant which is denoted by kc and this equilibrium constant is depend on permeability of the barrier that means permeability between the comp compartment of one compartment and another compartment in the permeability between the membrane of the compartment ph of the compartment ph of this respective compartment and binding capacity binding capacity of the compartment of the uh, plasma protein of that compartment now let's discuss very important part of this topic factors affecting distributions of the drug what are the factors that affect the distributions of the drug physiochemical properties of the drug inside physiochemical properties that is solubility of a drug ionization of a drug and size of the drug in the solubility of the drug there is lipid soluble drug lipid soluble drug are mainly present in uh, di mainly distribution in intercellular fluid where whereas water soluble drug are uh, distributed in extracellular extracellular space and ionization of drug if the drug is in ionized state then we can found it in extracellular space and in extracellular fluid and when the drug is in unionized state then in the intercellular fluid and the size of the drug it directly depends on the size of the drug that is crystalloid and colloid colloid is found in the interstitial inter, intercellular fluid whereas uh, sorry crystalloid is found in intercellular fluid whereas colloid is found in extracellular fluid remember this size of the drug crystalloid is found in the intercellular fluid whereas colloid is found in extracellular fluid now comes in plasma protein binding capacity of the drug that means the affinity of the drug that binds with the plasma protein what are the plasma protein the plasma protein are simply albumin globulin transferrin alpha 1 acid glycoprotein remember this thing this thing is important in mcq exam in various mcq exam mainly albumin albumin mainly binds with acidic drug albumin acidic drug both starts with aa albumin acidic drug examples of drugs are nsaid warfarin valproic acids and basic drug acidic drug bind with albumin whereas basic drug binds with alpha 1 acid acid glycoprotein like beta blocker and another plasma protein is globulin it binds with thyroid hormone and corticosteroids whereas transparin transparin is bind with iron now plasma protein binding capacity has of a drug has 
two types of plasma protein binding capacity. Some drug have high plasma protein binding capacity, whereas some drug has low plasma protein binding capacity. High plasma protein binding capacity when the drug bind with the plasma protein so high if the tendency of the drug is high plasma protein binding capacity then it will stay in this state because after binding the drug with the plasma protein their size will be increased here i can see the is easily seen in this figure the size after binding with the drug with the plasma protein the size will be increased and cannot cross the membrane so there is the less distribution of the drug whereas low plasma protein binding capacity uh, if they are not bind with the plasma protein then their size will be as same as that and they can easily cross the biological membrane and goes to the another compartment so low binding uh, low plasma protein binding capacity drug have more distribution some example of high plasma protein binding capacity are dizepam digoxin warfarin warfarin has high plasma protein binding capacity around 99% and valproic acid, furosemide, and example of drug that have low plasma protein binding capacities are antibiotics uh, like ampicillin, amoxicillin, amaxin, gentamicin, and metronidazole. Let's come on tissue binding capacity. Tissue binding capacity or cellular binding. Tissue binding capacity. There are some specific drug that bind with specific tissue like brain is in the brain tissue, chloropamazine is bind in the brain tissue, in the iris, atropine is uh, mainly bind in the iris and uh, thyroid, um, thyroid gland mainly distribution uh, occurs of the iodine, uh, iodine in thyroid gland, heart and skeletal muscles in uh, there is digoxin is uh, bind in that uh, heart and skeletal muscles and bone and teeth tetracycline is uh, mainly present in uh, tissue binding capacity tetracycline has more binding capacity with bone and teeth now let's come on regional blood flow regional blood flow those organ which have high blood flow obviously there is the more distribution of the drug in that organ high blood flow the organ of high blood flow are heart kidney liver brain in this organ that is the distribution of the drug is more in the low blood flow organ uh, uh, are adipose tissue and skeletal muscles they have low distributions of the drug and capillary permeability this is very very important capillary permeability capillary permeability affect the distribution in two ways that is one is capillary structure and another is nature of the drug to meet to make it easy i made here one two figure this is the endothelium of the liver endothelium of the liver and this is the endothelium of the brain in the endothelium of the liver there is a presence of the loose junction here here we can see this is a loose junction in this between two endothelial cells there is one junction this is one junction this is one and one this is a loose junction due to presence of the loose junction drug easily passes through this junction but in case of the endothelium of the uh, brain here is tight junction there is no any space between uh, any space between the endothelial cells it is tight junction so the drug cannot distribute easily this is the capillary structure and the nature of the drug if the drug are lipid soluble drug then they can easily cross this membrane if the drug are water soluble then they cannot cross the membrane and less distribution occurs take place now let's come to the physiological barriers what are the physiological barriers there are mainly physiological barriers are placental barrier and blood brain barrier first comes discuss about the blood brain barrier first let us discuss about the anatomical structure of the blood brain barrier there are the five structure of the uh, blood brain barrier they are the first is tight junction Second is basement membrane, third is pyometer, fourth is foot process of astrocytes, and fifth is choroid plexus. There are five uh, layers of the blood brain barrier. In the blood brain barrier, the drugs which have more lipid soluble drug then can easily cross the blood brain barrier. More, remember this more lipid soluble drug easily cross the blood brain barrier and moderately 
lipid soluble drug cross the blood brain barrier moderately but in case of the infection like meningitis the drug are easily cross the the drug easily cross the blood brain barrier like levodopa alpha methyl dopa insulin thiopentosodium is they can cross the blood brain barrier in case of infection like meningitis now let's come uh, let's discuss about the placental barrier first discuss about the its anatomy it has four layers endothelial lining first layer second layer is connective tissue layer third layer is the cytotropoblast layer and fourth layer is the syncytium layer from the placental barrier the the drugs that have uh, which are water soluble and lipid uh, soluble drugs can cross the placental barrier but remember that molecular weight is molecular weight of that drug should be less than 600 dalton mean uh, they can cross the placental barrier but the molecular weight should be less than 600 dalton drugs are contraindicated in in the uh, pregnancy in the first and uh, third trimester because first, first trimester is the period of organogenesis and uh, third trimester if you give the drugs in first, third trimester then there may be the chance of the post maturity and pre maturity but generally in second trimester drugs like calcium iron folate is given in second trimester to maintain the pregnancy normal and in last there is another one factor affecting drug distribution is redistribution redistribution means simply delivery of the drug from circulation to the tissue is known as redistribution mainly redistribution occurs in the organ which have low blood flow that is those organs are muscles adipose tissue now let's discuss about volume distributions of the drug volume distributions of the drug is apparent volume of the fluid in which administration of drug is distributed simply it is calculated by total amount of the drug in the body by plasma concentration of the drug volume distributions means total amount of the drug in the body by plasma concentration of the drug 